Welcome to Labsuit How To Series, Episode 5. This episode will make biological labs especially happy, as many of their inventory items, whether they are lab made or purchased, are stored in the freezer boxes. This is my lab inventory main screen. I will click antibodies and filter out anything but antibodies. The location column says that antibody MXB is located in freezer 1, antibody box in cells C3, C4, C5. So I'm opening the inventory item details page and scrolling down to location section. There is also a graphical representation of the freezer box. Anti-MXB samples are located in C3, C4, C5. I can quickly add another sample of anti-MXB to D3, D4, D5. In case I put it in the wrong cell, I can always clear the cell in a single click. The cells that are faded out are occupied by different items, in this case by anti-2A. Remember, I'm in the context of anti-MXB, therefore cells occupied by other items cannot be edited from this screen. From the quick overview, I can zoom in into the box content by clicking Edit. Here the cells are bigger, the content is visible by default and I don't need to hover over the cells to see what's inside. Similar to the previous screen, I can fill cells with anti-MXB or clear them. Let's get back to the inventory item details. Now I'm waiting to receive another antibody, specifically rabbit anti-goat. I want to keep it in the vicinity of my freezer box 1. I click Manage Locations and land into the sublocation list of the freezer 1. This is my lab setup screen where I can define locations, types, custom fields, etc. But now I'm aiming at the new sublocation button. Clicking it. I'm adding another freezer box to store my antibodies. Typing in Antibodies Box 2. Selecting type freezer box 5x5. Five five. Well, my lab has a bunch of 5x5 five five freezer boxes. And I click Save. Sublocations of type freezer box are marked by this tiny label, which says 5x5 five five and implies freezer box. That's it! I'm ready to accommodate my rabbit anti goat antibody. Some time has passed, and I have finally received the long awaited reagent. Let's find its new home and click Manage Content button. The freezer box virtual map shows up. My goal is to start from the very first cell A1 and later to get to the higher cells of the box. So I click an empty A1 cell. After some work on Lapsid side, an empty inventory item is created. However, location and sublocation are automatically filled in. Location says freezer box 1 and sublocation antibody box 2. The positioning inside the freezer box is set as well, exactly as I was expecting. I just need to fill in the name and probably change item type to antibody. Typing in, OK, and now I click save. In case I change my mind and want to move entire antibox box from freezer 1 to another location, it's easy to do so. Let's click my lab's name, manage lab, locations and freezer 1. I select edit antibody box and pick another parent location. That's it! That was an episode about the freezer boxes. If you have ideas or feedbacks, please comment below. And of course, subscribe to Lapsit YouTube channel so you don't miss new episodes.